Welcome to the Chroma side of YouTube. Well, today I am going to do the October Pouring Challenge. The October Pouring Challenge is you have to do a monochromatic puddle pour and the only way you can manipulate it or tools you can use is a fork. So I watched Rio and Sace do it and I am going to borrow their forklift. Great idea guys, I loved it, I'm gonna borrow it. The way he used it was he drug it under the paint, lifted it, and a bubble would form right here of paint and it would pop and make a, a lacing effect in his pour. So I think I'm gonna use that the most. I also have a regular pour. They had tons of different prongs broken off to make different types of uh, tools to use, but I think I'm just going to stick with the two. My color that I used was the Oops paint that I bought from Home Depot not too long ago. And um, it's this really pretty deep plum purple. And I realized the other day, or today, I actually got new drying racks and new um, shelving. I realized I do a lot of blue and green. So for my mother, because she's always like, you use too much blue and green. I figured I'd do a pour with purple today. I really like this color. So this one is the original color. And to make my light light, I did about um, I used my Artist Loft, but it came with a pump this time, which is very convenient. But it, um, I used six pumps of white and a dab of purple to make this really pretty lavender color. I used about four and a half pumps of white and a little bit of the purple to make this lighter co mauve color. I used two pumps of white and the purple to make a darker purple. I left this one that really pretty dark plum color. So this is the original color. I added two squirts of Blacrylic Mars Black and came up with this dark, dark, dark grape purple. And I added four squirts of the black and came up with this really dark, dark purple. It almost looks black, but I really like that color as well. So without further ado, oh, I forgot to mention, there is nothing in the challenge rules that says we cannot use a torch. So I will be using the torch, but solely for air bubbles. I did not add any silicone or dimethicone or any additives to this paint. The only thing that I mixed to this paint was Flood Floetrol and water. So I think I want to start with the dark. But I don't want to go in order.
Alrighty guys, all of my paint is poured. I'm going to use the fort to go through like that. And now I'm going to tilt, but I want to tilt it this way first. Now I'm going to tilt that way and then that way. And I'm going to pull down and tilt this way. Okay. So I am really liking this. It's looking very nice, but I have to manipulate it again somehow with the forks. So in comes Sace's forklift. Now let's see. I'm gonna. That's kind of cool. I don't want to mess with this. I really love this. But I do want to mess with this. And I want to give some different looks to it. That's cool. All right, I think I'm done messing with it because I don't want it to get too busy. All right, I am going to torch the air bubbles. Like I said, there is absolutely no silicone in this bad boy. Now I am going to go through and double check and make sure that the, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, the corners, yeah, that thing. I'm going to go through and make sure that the corners are covered. And, uh, yeah. Should be good to go. Dude, this is turning out really cool. So I'm just torching out and letting some lacing happen.
And there you guys have it. I'm going to get you guys down and take a look. I have very small, teeny tiny cells in there, which I'm not upset about because I think they look really, really cool. But I do like how some of the movement in the in this, some of the movement in there um, kind of comes to life and looks like, like, insecty with the manipulations from the fork it's kind of cool i really like it um i do, you know what before i get you guys down i do want to run the torch a little bit more from right here because there's like a cutoff right there that i'm not digging so i'm kind of hoping that a little bit more happens in this area right here kind of taper it off That looks better to me. Let me get up there and take a look again. You guys are on the highest shelf because this is a little bit bigger. So, yeah, that looks much better. It's kind of softer. Okay, I'm going to pull you guys down and let you take a look. Alrighty, guys. Here is the completed project. I'm going to pull you down and get it to focus and maybe you can see some of the details the lacing is gorgeous sorry about the glare these organic cells that happened right here along with the strip that I torched. Let me hold still a minute. And they're really small, teeny tiny cells in there, which I'm not mad about. All right, guys, I'm going to pull it up, sit you guys down, and say adieu. Thank you so much for watching. It was really, really fun to do this challenge. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications when new videos are going up. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye, y'all. Hey. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you can get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye bye y'all.